Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have me, sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. What's up, everyone? This is Bill. Just wanted to do a quick video and show you guys what's going on the bike today. Um, if we run into issues and whatnot, I will put it on camera just so it will help other people out. We're not going to do a complete install video. There's already a few of them out there. You can look up Hard Racing's video. But anyway, this is the Takagawa uh, 181 Big Bore Kit with the aggressive camshaft. I got this from uh, hardracing.com. I believe it's right around $400. Um, this is the... Uh, the 150 cc injector this is the honda 150 cc injector so we're putting a bigger injector in it uh this this uh 181 kit will be somewhat of a low compression which should play a little nicer with the uh, turbo kit that we're going to put on the bike later on so i'll take it out of the package and show you what all you get all together this total was 460 dollars i will put links in the description Okay, sorry about that. In the box, you do get your new bore. Okay, and this will the stock head will mount up to this. You get your new 181 piston from Takagawa. You get your gaskets, your head gaskets. Uh, you get a nice little Takagawa decal. Your more aggressive camshaft here. Put a little bit of oil residue on it. Okay. Nice new bearings. Okay. You got all your gasket or your uh, piston rings. Uh, these are your bolts to plug up for the oil cooler in and out that's on the cylinder here. Okay, so this is a complete kit. This is all bolt-on. You could bolt this on with the stock, with everything else stock, and it'll work. Obviously, there's better ways to do it, which we're going to do, but I did order a uh, bigger throttle body and intake also. So anyway, that's what you get for 460 bucks from Hard Racing. Okay, so after getting the motor apart, this is the stock head, the two-valve head, and this is your exhaust port, and this is your intake. Uh, these are your valves. So this is what mine looks like after 1,500 miles. There's 1,575 on the bike. So that's not bad. I mean, you're going to have a little bit of junk in here. You just want to make sure this gasket area where you're going to put your gasket is nice and smooth. I just wanted to show what that looked like so you get an idea of what to expect. Okay. I'm showing you how to get the cam out. So what I'm just I'm not gonna take it apart again. I'm gonna just tell you how to do it. It's not hard. Just be real careful. Uh, so first thing you're gonna do, once you get your sprocket off, you got your head off right here. Uh, you're gonna undo this bolt, it's a 10 millimeter bolt. Okay, you're gonna undo that bolt right there. You're gonna take it out and take this plate out. It can only go on one way. You can see there it says out. That goes up like that. These shafts right here are for your rocker arms. So you can see your rocker arm. Go focus. Okay, so this whole entire assembly right here, when you pull those shafts out, it's gonna come out. Inside there is a needle bearing. Okay, so that shaft right there goes through a needle bearing, which is the bearing for your rocker arm. So don't be alarmed about it being a needle bearing. Just pull it out. Pull this out nice and slow. Have someone holding on to this so it doesn't just fall. And then just slide it out and keep your finger on the back side so your needle bearing doesn't fall out onto the ground. Okay, if it does fall out, let it sit inside there while you get the rocker arm out of the way. Be careful with the needle bearing and put it back in. Then what you're going to do is you're going to work. You're going to work your, once you've got both these out, you're going to work this cam, keeps turning as you're pulling up, 
because you're lo it's offset it's an offset cut inside here for the lobes on the cam so you're just going to pull it lift it up slowly work it don't scratch it up and then you're going to soak this new cam in oil let it soak in oil till you don't see any more bubbles you're going to work it in there slowly and then you're going to put back in the way we did this which was easiest for us was uh put the exhaust one in so on this side this is your wait that's the exhaust no this is your intake exhaust. this is exhaust yes yeah, so the exhaust one first. Yeah, because you can see your exhaust right here. So we'd put the exhaust one in, put the needle bearing in, keep your finger on the bottom of it, slide it in there, have someone looking down this hole where your shaft goes. So you see that needle bearing lined up, set this in there nice and slow. It will slide in nice and easy. Okay, so if there's any resistance at all, don't push it. Move stuff, wiggle stuff around until it fits. Okay, and then make sure your shaft is sitting in the right direction. And then move over to your intake. You're going to have to move your cam around while you get these uh, rocker arms back in there. You're going to have to move the cam just a little bit until it sits in there perfect. And then you're just going to slide these back down, torque this back down to torque. What we got right now is we got the spark plug disconnected. We're just going to turn it over a few times, let it cycle some oil into the oil cooler. Then we'll add more oil and then we'll fire up the bike. having that piece on the cam. Okay, uh, go ahead and pause it. Ready? There it goes. Okay, so we did have to do a, uh, a lithium battery on here, uh, or else it's not gonna turn over because the 181 kit from Takagawa does not come with the relief piece for the uh, cam. So here's the moment of truth. the idle and it starts so that's a wrap okay everyone so here's the bike this is gromzilla my 2018 honda grom we got the uh, 181 big bore kit installed on it so we do have to take our time breaking it in uh, there wasn't really nothing hard about doing it as long as you have a general knowledge of how everything works. Uh, look online, there's all kinds of videos out there that show you how to do a big bore kit. And I just put a video up on exactly how to do that camshaft. It's not that hard. So uh, just keep watching my YouTube channel and if you have questions, let me know. I will answer them the best I can. There will be a link in the description to Hard Racing where I got the big bore kit. They have it on sale right now. I believe it was right around $400 and that comes with the camshaft. Okay, so I'll fire it up and let you hear it. You can definitely tell it's got a cam in it. Just the way it thumps. And we did have, keep in mind, we did have to switch to a lithium battery to be able to start that up. So that's simply because it doesn't have the relief on the uh, camshaft. Hey, buddy, she sounds good. Sounds real good. Really impressed with the power. Uh, you can go first gear, straight into second gear, and stomp on it in second and pull a wheelie, no problem. 
it easily pulls the front end up. Second gear, 30 miles an hour, you can still stand the front end straight up. So if you're looking for the wheelie machine, there you go. So the next thing to do to it will be the bigger throttle body. We have a um, Chimera uh, board out, overboard uh, throttle body coming, and uh, intake manifold. And then the gearing, we're going uh, 1632. We're gonna play around with that and see how that does. Uh, that's what's recommended with this 181 kit. Is 16 in the front, 32 in the back. Stock is 15, uh, stock is 15, 34. So we're going up one and down two. So we get some top speed out of it because right now it's just a lot of torque and I haven't taken it to top speed yet. Fastest I've done on it so far is 60 miles an hour, but it'll do that in third. You know, but I'm trying to baby it and break it in. So anyway, I just wanted to get let you guys take a look at it. Okay, we've still got the turbo kit to put on it, but this is where we're at right now. Anyway, thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and look in the description below all my videos. You always have links down there and uh, all kinds of content for you. If you got any questions about the Honda Grom, let me know. Have a good one.